In this video tutorial for XML Viewer, we're going to take a look at how you can open XML files with XML Viewer. There are two ways you can do this. First of all, you can load up an XML file through the program, and second of all, you can assign XML Viewer as your default XML editor. Uh, once you've done this, all you need to do then is double click on any XML file and it will load it. Um, to, to set it up so that it's your default um, editor for XML, simply right click on any XML file, go open with, and at the moment I have this in here, but when you first install the program, XML Viewer won't, won't be listed in this option so what you need to do then is choose a default program once you're there you need to select XML viewer if you don't see it up here uh, click on this icon here to show other programs that you have installed browse down and it, it should be there if for whatever reason it's not simply click on the browse button go to Seaway solutions and XML viewer click on the XML Viewer EXE, click open and make sure that it's selected make sure that always use the selected program to open this kind of file is ticked and click OK and there we go it's opened it up but not only that when you go when you um, have a look at any XML files in the future you'll see the XML Viewer icon um, this will let you know that that is XML Viewer is your default XML editor. Uh, so that's the first way. And once you've set it up, like I showed you before, simply double click on the XML file and XML Viewer will show itself with the data inside. Um, the other way that you can do it is through the program is open XML doc, browse or navigate to the location of the XML file that you want. So I'm at Northwind, uh, click open and it will load into XML viewer. There you go. So now I've got two XML files in there. I c if I want more, I need to open. Um, let's say I'll just use this one. It's just a test XML file. And there you go. I've now opened three XML files and I can view them w whenever I want to. A good way to bring XML files together, especially uh, configuration files and things like that. So that's pretty much um, this tutorial. So all we went through was showing how you can um, open up XML files with XML Viewer. Thank you very much.